hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute ne? und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Beim letzten Mal hatten wir das Dämonenwelt DLC abgeschlossen und mussten dann feststellen, dass es noch ein weiteres DLC gibt, nämlich die göttlichen Kapitel. Die wollen wir diese Woche komplett durchziehen. Also nochmal zur Erinnerung, diese Woche nur Fire Emblem folgen. Und ja, ich tippe mal drauf, müssten ungefähr sechs Kapitel sein, weil es waren sieben Armringe. Ein Armring haben wir schon. Logischerweise können dann nur sechs Folgen übrig sein. Also ihr werdet von Montag bis Samstag definitiv nur Fire Emblem haben. Eventuell kommt dann am Wochenende auch das erste Stream-Video des Jahres dann mal. Jedenfalls... Bevor wir mit dem Kapitel anfangen, gibt es ein paar Bandgespräche, beziehungsweise Unterstützungsgespräche, der Teilstepp ist über mir. Und zu den äh, Gesprächen sage ich übrigens, ich werde hauptsächlich versuchen, die Gespräche der DLC-Charaktere jetzt durchzuprügeln, damit wir zumindest die bis zum Ende des DLCs alle gesehen haben. Und damit meine ich auch die höchsten Stufen. Das betrifft auch die Embleme. Da, da beschränke ich mich aber auf meinen Charakter und auf die DC-Charaktere. So, da habe ich dann jetzt alle Infos gesagt. Ihr guckt dann euch jetzt erstmal noch ein paar Gespräche an. Und wir sehen uns dann gleich im Kapitel wieder. Gregory, how are you holding up? Do you feel like you're adjusting to this world? I guess so. There are so many little similarities and differences to ours. I think I've mostly gotten used to it. I just hope we can end this war quickly. This place certainly has its own fair share of enemies to confront, doesn't it? Now that we're here, the Four Winds should do everything we can to support the Divine Dragon. <sighs> I just wish Mavir could have come with us. I feel the same. It's because of Mavir that we're still alive. Heck, the reason we're even together right now is thanks to him starting the Four Winds. But then he was the first one to leave us. If only I'd forced him to let me go in his place. Don't think that way. Mavir wanted us to go on living. He would want us to carry on his legacy. That's why he made you second in command. I still don't understand why he gave me that role. Probably because you're so old. <laughs> Ouch. Is that supposed to be payback? <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's easy to see why he made you my second. You fight so bravely to protect your friends. All I did was run away. Sometimes I wonder if that's what I'm still doing. What are you talking about? Don't be absurd. What I say? Why are you suddenly so serious? Mavir may have been the catalyst, but we all made the choice to carry on his legacy together. You are not running away. You're my second for a reason. Believe in yourself. <sighs> yeah. Can I speak with you for a minute? What do you need? Nothing, per se. I just thought it might be nice to chat a little. Your voice and mannerisms. They remind me so much of the Mavir that I knew. <laughs> Why are you crying? I'm sorry. I just... I really wanted to apologize. What for? For letting you die. You were like family to me. If only I had pushed myself a little harder back then. If only I hadn't left you alone. <sighs> Look at me. Yes. I cannot accept your apology. Oh. I am not the aggrieved party. The words have no meaning to me. I may have the same face as your former ally. But we are not the same person. You're right. I apologize for acting foolishly. You're just so much like him. It's hard not to feel as though he's back. I will admit to experiencing similar thoughts when we first met. Your name is also Mavir, is it not? Yes. I imagine you already know, but I'm Celestia. If it's all right with you, I'd like for us to be friends. Very well, Celestia. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. 
Mavir. Hello, Nell. I'd like to speak with you a moment, if that's all right. Certainly. I have been meaning to have a word with you as well. And there is no need for apprehension. You may speak freely with me anytime you like. Thank you. I wanted to ask, are you really Papa's, I mean, Sombron's daughter? I've been wondering ever since I heard you were a fell dragon. I am. And there was another of his children, in my world, whose name was Vale. According to Mavir, she was quite strict, but also very kind. So there was another version of me in your world. What a peculiar feeling. My feeling is that I am grateful fate has given us this opportunity to converse. My siblings are gone. Well, all but one. I never dreamed I'd find another sister. You consider me a sibling? Of course I do. You may be from another world, but you're Papa's daughter, the same as me. And friendship is not sufficient for you. Do you... not want to be my sister? My heart is gladdened to hear your words, but my mind is not prepared to accept them. My Sombron is not your papa, and Rafal has been my only sibling for a long time. You're right. I put this on you very suddenly, didn't I? I'm sorry for getting overexcited. Let's forget about it for now and speak again another time. Might I tell you an old story? Depends. How old are we talking? The story is from before you joined us, back when our Divine Dragon was still alive. Oh, well, that's real ancient history. I was on a scouting mission at Givra Port in Elusia when I spotted some of the corrupted. I was alone, but I couldn't ignore the threat, so I charged in. Incredibly reckless in retrospect. They overwhelmed me. It was too late to get away. I realized I was probably going to die. That's when a lone figure came out of nowhere and started fighting to protect me. You don't mean... I remember what he said. This is when you run away. What will you do if you get hurt here? I did say that, huh? It's been so long I'd completely forgotten. You may be timid, but you risked your life to save me. I don't understand it, even to this day. I guess... when I saw you there... All I could think was that I needed to try saving you. I was surrounded by people who hurt me when I was young. No one ever came to help. I kept praying that someone would save me. But it went unanswered. Since I knew that pain, well, it was unthinkable not to try and help you. I was so relieved. You were a ray of sunlight cutting through my shroud of despair. Was I really that good? I mean... Don't get me wrong, it's nice to hear you say that. But even when I ran in, I didn't think we could win. I figured we'd both have to run away. Well, thanks to you, I lived to fight another day. More importantly, I knew I'd found a friend I could trust to watch my back. That's why I invited you to fight alongside us in Lethos right then and there. <laughs> you were so scared of the invitation. You panicked and turned me down repeatedly. <laughs> But you were persistent. You always get your way. I was surprised you even wanted to talk to someone like me. You had no clue who I was. You charged into a dangerous situation to help me. How could I not trust you? Seeing that you were willing to risk your life for a complete stranger gave me so much hope. Hmm. Well, looks like my one day of bravery was also the start of something big, huh? Exactly. Do you see now that you're not running away? May I join you as you help the village today? Pardon me? It is inappropriate for the Divine Dragon to help with such menial tasks. I disagree. You are a strange one. Why do you feel you must be so kind to me? Well, I realized something after spending time with you. We have quite a bit in common. Impossible. You have never engaged in villainy. We are, each of us, unable to resist offering a helping hand to those in need. Our only difference? You momentarily strayed from the path. 
but now you are home. Are you making excuses for my actions? You can't forgive your past mistakes precisely because you're a good person. The only fault I can see in your character is that you don't believe you can be good. You don't need to burden yourself with shame or seek atonement. All you need to do is trust your friends and stand by their side. Huh? Please trust me, Mavir. I want nothing more than to help you. I have made so many mistakes that I've long told myself I am beyond redemption. Yet, you make me question my way of thinking. Perhaps the Divine Dragon understands who I am better than I do myself. Of course not. I accept your offer of help in the village. That is, if you are still willing. Let's get to it. What an odd sensation. My chest feels warm. That's happiness. A feeling you deserve. And one you are about to give to others. With the Divine Dragon by my side, anything is possible. Thank you. I would never have found my way without you. Lady Nell, would you like something to drink? That will not be necessary. How about something to eat? I brought some bread. I am not hungry. I suppose I can eat this later, then. Perhaps you should get some rest. Celestia. What is it? You have, of late, been fussing over me a great deal. Why? Well, I, am. Um... <sighs> I was unable to protect you in a past battle. I don't want that to happen again. So I decided to stay by your side and keep you safe. The sentiment is appreciated. But our relationship is no longer hierarchical. We now aid the Divine Dragon as equals. You served me well in our world. And I consider your duty in that regard fulfilled. If that's how you feel, then I suppose I should do as I please from now on. Very good. Then I bid you farewell. <laughs> you are following me. I hope you don't mind. This is what it pleases me to do. I want to stay by your side. <sighs> Well, if it isn't Lord Rafal, what a coincidence, running into you in this great wide Somniel. <sighs> Whoa, what's with the silent treatment? We've always been such good allies. Ah, yes, now I recall. You are one of those mewling four winds wretches. Uh, that sharp gaze, the cruel words. You're nothing at all like when you were Lord Nil. If your lungs enjoy the air, Gregory... You will not permit them to breathe that name again. I guess I was right then. Before, when you were being nice to us, that was all an act, wasn't it? Of course it was an act. Is your weak mind so easily soothed by empty platitudes? Oh, Gregory, I missed you so. The sight of you fills my heart with joy. Ouch, you don't have to be so mean. Words hurt as bad as blades, you know. Then state your business and cease to waste my time. What brings you to me now? Revenge? What? No, I'm not like that at all. I don't believe in revenge. I don't have any particular business with you. Then be gone. You are of no further use to me. Fine, fine. Not like I actually want to be used by you again. I did have one question for you, though. You're cruel. But it feels like a mask, just like your kindness did. So, who is the real you? Your naivete is staggering. <sighs> you are Gregory. Yeah. We have a duty. These weapons will not maintain themselves. Right, right. Your disposition is as lax as that of your counterpart from this world. You perform well in battle, but whether you can be trusted remains an open question. Perhaps I make you uncomfortable. You are free to go in that case. Only one of us need remain. No, I don't want to go and leave you here all by yourself. To work, I mean. <sighs> uh, sorry. In any case, 
Yeah, I want to stay. This is going nowhere. Your motives are a complete mystery. If we are to make progress, we must have an open discourse. Discourse? We should begin with an exchange of facts so we both have the same information. Wait, Mavir. Are you saying you actually want to talk to me? Do you object? <laughs> You seem distressed. Distressed? No. I... I wanted to talk to you too. But I was scared that you hadn't forgiven me since I'd abandoned you. I didn't think I could show my face. I'm so sorry. I cannot say that I understand, but I do hear you at least. Mavir, I'll never leave you alone again, I promise. I'll always be by your side. This is going to be challenging. Madeline, I'm sorry for getting so emotional the last time we spoke. No need to apologize, Lady Vale. I just hope that you're alright. I am. But... I want to talk to you about something. Certainly. It would be my privilege to hear what you have to say. Thank you. You see... It's about a knight named Marnie, someone you resemble. When I was fighting against the Divine Dragon, I was under the spell of an enchanted helmet. Marnie tried to break this helmet, and she managed to put a crack in it. Thanks to that brave act, I regained my senses. I feel that I owe her my life. Just the sort of courageous act I'd expect from one of your knights. Yes, but because of it, Marnie was killed. What? She gave her life for mine. And I didn't have a chance to thank her or say goodbye. I know that you're not her. But I still wanted to explain my feelings. <sighs> I see. You're right. I'm not Marnie. But I believe I know how she felt. A knight's duty is to lay down her life for those she serves. For you, I am sure she did it gladly. And what a wonderful night that makes her to have fulfilled her purpose. Wait, don't you see? It was my fault she died. Forgive me if I am overstepping. But given the chance, I doubt she'd do anything differently. Huh? In her situation, having carried out my duty as a knight, I would have no regrets. And I would feel great pride to be remembered with such fondness. I hope so. You're very kind, Madeline. You know, if Marnie were alive, I think she'd be a knight like you. I take that as a high compliment. Hi, Nell. I'm sorry about before. I should have realized you might not see me as a sister. I was thinking it might help if we spent a little time together. I brought us something to eat. A shared meal seems a fine way for us to kindle our friendship. Great. I hope you don't mind if it's spicy. I happen to enjoy a great deal of heat and salt in my food. Oh, good. In that case, you're definitely going to enjoy this. I feel like everything's tasted better since I got here. I love sitting down to eat with everyone. They have been very kind to me as well, even though I am a stranger from another world. They're very welcoming. As a fellow Fell Dragon daughter, I want to do my part to welcome you here as well. Thank you. You said Rafal has been your only sibling for a long time. Hasn't that been lonely? Certainly. I have felt the loss of each of my siblings over the years. I always wish that we could have been closer. But so much of our time was spent on survival. That meant envy and exploitation and betrayal. At times, it meant violence. That's horrible. That is why I am truly grateful to have the opportunity to spend time with you in peace. But it is also why the thought of accepting you as my sibling is accompanied by caution. For me, that type of relationship has been fraught with rivalry. And with fear. Does that mean you're afraid of me? I do not feel threatened. Because we are not siblings. We were never supposed to have met. Since we are free to define our relationship as we like, I would prefer to think of us as friends, 
I see. Thank you for being honest with me about your feelings now. I'd like to do this again sometime. If it's alright with you. Sister? Something has upset you, Rafal. What is it? Is it not obvious? Already you are throwing yourself to the front lines. You have not yet fully recovered. Allow me to fight at the front instead. Your concern is appreciated. But with the Dragonstone you gave me, it is unfounded. My ability to transform is no less than it was prior to the shattering of my own stone. That is true enough. Moreover, as you know, my new stone was empowered directly by the emblems. It is a piece of that which imparted to you your own power to transform. Yes. We were fortunate that the Dragonstone yielded by the emblems was exceptionally large. That is why I was able to split the stone into four pieces and give two of them to you. I was initially concerned that the split would reduce potency, but that has not been the case. Indeed. So there is no reason for you to be concerned about me. I will accept that. If you promise to call upon me the moment you are in danger. Thank you. Should such a moment come, I will do so. And I will be there. There. Now all that remains is to pack these up and put them away. Greetings. Do you require any assistance? Thank you, Lord Rafal, but no. The tools are now neatly organized. You are planning to sort the weapons next, are you not? Perhaps I can assist with that. You need not trouble yourself. It seems you have something on your mind. Can I assist you somehow? I can see that my efforts to be considerate have come to naught. No need to rub it in. Not at all. You are still new to this world. If I can ease the transition in any way, I will. I do not require anything at the moment. Good. If that changes, I assume you know how to find me. I would extend to you the same offer. I know you have a tendency to overwork yourself. Try to rest now and again. Thank you for your concern. Oh, the townsfolk seem so pleased. I can barely believe all the thanks pouring in. Yes, the people do seem most appreciative. But our work has only just begun. I hope they know our feelings are genuine, and that we mean them well. I was concerned they would hold a grudge. Revenge makes more sense than forgiveness. I told you, the people here are good. Indeed, you were right. It is wonderful that they welcomed us so. <sighs> you know, there's something I've been thinking about. I wonder if Marnie would have ever been willing to walk through these streets with us. Lady Vale, I do not dare to guess. But this much I know, if Marnie would have fought on this side, she'd have been a knight beloved by the people. Oh, yes. I would have loved her if it weren't for Marnie. I would have never had this chance to make things right. It's impossible to express how grateful I am for what she did. She would have loved to hear your praise. Let the two of us live to save as many people as we can. For Marnie. I like that. We have so many wrongs to make up for. I don't know how we'll ever balance the scales. I guess we'll just have to add as much good to this world as we possibly can. Will you help me, Mavir? Of course. As a knight, and as a friend. We do this together, Lady Vale. I'm a mage dragon, Corin. As a fellow dragon, I imagine you and I will have a lot to talk about. Mage dragon? That type of dragon wasn't in my world. I'd love to talk with you too, Celestia. You seem like you may be harboring some kind of resentment for the Divine Dragon, Lady Nell. If that is how it appears, then I must reflect upon it and change. Thank you for telling me.
You must despise me for keeping your bracelet hidden away for such a long time. On the contrary, you are working to atone now. We have no quarrel with you at all. Here we are, the island south of Firne. I definitely feel the presence of an emblem. It looks like an altar over there. With a bracelet resting on top of it. Must be the emblem inside I'm sensing. <gasps> yes, I feel it now. What is it, Divine One? I think an invocation just came to me. I'll try summoning the emblem now. Dream well, Emblem of Dragons! Divine Dragon. We came here because I sensed your presence. Divine Dragon? Why, that's what I am too. My name is Emblem Tiki. I must thank you for waking me. I feel I've been asleep for a very long time. I can relate to that, Tiki. Do you happen to remember anything from before your sleep? Hmm. I know my bracelet friends and I were all somewhere, very far away. We fought in so many battles. I cannot recall how they ended. I do remember someone very gentle helping me to sleep. I wonder who it was. Someone gentle? Hmm. I was kept asleep in my former world, too. It was to protect me, but I was still quite frightened. But then Mama made it so that I didn't need to sleep anymore. Do you mean Marth? Are you talking about events from the time of the Hero King? You know him? I do. Emblem Marth has been a guardian of Elios for a long time. If you'd be willing to join him in fighting to save this world, we'd be very grateful. I would love to join your group. Traveling with so many new friends sounds like fun. But if I'm to join you, I'd like to see what drives you to fight. Will you show me your essence? Of course. How do we do that? Why, that's easy. You can battle against me. Then I'll know your true nature. And you don't need to hold back. I am really quite strong. Okay, Leute, hier sind wir dann auch direkt im Schlachtgeschehen. Emblem Tiki ist offenbar das erste Emblem, das wir bekämpfen. Mit ganz viel Mimesis. Die Mimesis die gelten ja nicht als Verzerrte. Also wird mein Uli ja wahrscheinlich hier selten was bringen. Oh, ihr habt aber schöne Stäbe. Nein. Warum existierst du? Tiki habe ich als sehr, sehr stark in Erinnerung. Also in dem Game, wo sie bei war, war sie wirklich sehr heftig. Was ist das hier für ein Feld? Ich will dahin. Kann ich dahin? Mal gucken. Ja, wenn ich komplett außen rum mit irgendwem reise. Ich mache das mal mit äh, Celestia. Ich habe die DLC-Charaktere offscreen mal ein bisschen hoch trainiert, damit sie hier auch am Leben bleiben. Weil ich habe schon vor, sie alle zu nutzen. Naja, nichtsdestotrotz muss ich erstmal Truppen anpassen. Also ein bisschen kürze. So Leute, meine Truppen sind angepasst. Das ging relativ schnell. Ich werde gucken, dass ich mit Celestia einmal komplett drumherum reise, damit ich dieses komische Leuchten da oben aufsammle. Bevor ich zu Tiki gehe. Was passiert, wenn ich in diesem Bereich da komme? These doors are protected by a powerful force. Ah, okay, ich muss nach Reihenfolge die Türen öffnen. Das ist die einzige Weg, die Türen zu öffnen. Du hast dein Bestes, um mich zu erreichen. Vielleicht wäre es gut, dass du das Sigil zuerst gehst.
Na gut, aber erstmal auf die konzentrieren, die hier vorne stehen, ne? Die Kampfmusik hier ist schön. Im Übrigen erinnert euch wahrscheinlich daran, dass ich am Anfang des DSCs richtig viel Zeug bekam. Ich habe ein paar Waffen damit aufgebessert. Zum Beispiel aufs Gebiet habe ich aufs Maximum verbessert. Treffe aber leider trotzdem nicht. Toron, bitte trief. So, direkt nochmal Toron. So, dann nutze ich jetzt den Tanz der Göttin mit Nell. Muss den ja auch mal wieder zeigen. Und dann vernichten wir direkt den Dieb. Ich muss übrigens sagen, der ist neue Armring, den ich bekam, äh, dem von dem Trio da. Die finde ich richtig praktisch, weil die standardmäßig drin haben, dass man 1,2% mehr Erfahrung bekommt. Also äh, das 1,2-fache. Und dadurch konnte ich die recht schnell leveln. Die DC-Charaktere. Richtig praktisch. Let's go. Und mit Leim wirft den Tomahawk. Hoch und tot. So, und mit unten das Schwert recke ich dich mal weg. Ihr seht, wie gut die Erfahrung bekommen, ne? Ich habe denen allen diese Fähigkeit gegeben, dass die mehr Erfahrung bekommen. Nope. Die haben äh, einen Bogen bei sich, deswegen habe ich Celestia nicht darunter bewegt. Ich empfinde immer noch diese Generäle als die op Einheit, die existiert. Weil egal wer, wenn sie mit physischen Waffen auf diese Generäle losgehen, sie machen keinen Schaden. Na dann, Nell, hau die weg. So, kommt ruhig her. Ey, hier ist aktiv. Nur diese Korbschläge machen den Schaden, den Generälen. Die kriegt keiner kaputt. Eike ist einfach perfekt für die Generäle. Im Übrigen, äh, die Steine, die konnte man auch ein bisschen aufwerten, aber das hat sich dann immer so rumgewechselt. Ob die jetzt normale Schlachtenstein waren, normale Stein. Also bei denen hatte sich das irgendwie so gut wie gar nicht gelohnt. Dass ihr das mal wisst. Also ich meine damit die Veredelung. Da kommt noch eher. Das ist 
übrigens auch eine Fähigkeit von Emblem Claude etc., dass man die mit sich ziehen kann. Machst doch eh keinen Damage. Oh, ein Glück, du kannst nicht so gut schießen wie der andere. Jetzt sind andere Weiverns. Das sind Billo Weiverns. Hey, so viel wie dich kann ich kaputt schlagen. Und nochmal der dunkle Schlachtenstein. So, ich würde dann schon mal anfangen, Celestia hier den Weg laufen zu lassen. Ich kann sie ja mit äh, Teleport oder Rettung zu mir holen. So, ich nutze mal das teleport na dann kümmere ich mich hier schon mal um den hier. Nee, kommt da schon klar. Hey! Was that too much? Schießling. Get aim. Ich wusste einfach, dass er verfehlt hätte. Der mit 7% getroffen hätte ich das Spiel verklagt. So, ich werfe dir direkt einen Tomahawk ins Gesicht. You are a years me. <lacht> Stimmt sogar. <lacht> er hat ja 1000 Jahre jetzt alleine verbracht. Ich glaube übrigens, dass die DC-Schlachten nicht besonders lang gehen werden. Weil sie haben ja so Rundenbegrenzungen. So, solange Mendelan schnell genug ist und trifft, geht das hier gut. Irgendwie haben die Viecher hier einen fiesen Effekt, dass ich mich nach der Runde nicht bewegen kann. Liegt das vielleicht an diesem Frostatem, den die Biester haben? Ja, es friert mich ein und äh, macht damit mich, glaube ich, bewegungsunfähig, weil ich kann weh die Runde nicht bewegen. Mittlerweile konnte ich die vorherige Runde auch nicht bewegen. Okay, die Zehen hat es geflügelt. Aus! Hier bringe ich Respekt bei. So, ich empfesse den Krieg. Die Wille Glanzklinge, die gefällt mir richtig gut. Die ich so gegen Ende der Hauptstory bekam. So, ich mach dich da mal mit Excalibur fertig, da Windangriffe ja gegen dich effektiv sind. Schön, dass du als äh, äh, Flügeltacke bist. Ja, hier könnt ihr euch rankommen. Ihr macht eh keinen Damage. Zeit für eine Prügelei. Komm ruhig her. Ja, da ist klar, dass ihr keinen Damage macht. Mädelein mache ich mir gar keine Sorgen. Alle höchstens durch den Drachen. Und tschüss. So, 
Das sagst du schön, Bale. So, die schieße ich mal über den Haufen. Und bei dir sollte der dunkle Schlachtenstein reichen. Nee, gerade so nicht. Ich könnte auf den Crit bei der Meister hoffen. Okay, sein Crit sieht cool aus. Dem von Nell habe ich auch schon gesehen. Der sieht auch geil aus. So, ich mache mal hier die Bahn frei. Dann kann ich gleich den Drachen da vernichten. So, ich habe da vorne mal wieder A4 aktiviert. Sollen sie doch rankommen? Das wird sogar den Drachen vernichten vom Schaden her. Daneben. Die Drachen, die mag ich immer noch nicht. Vor allem der trifft zu 100%. Das heißt, sie kann sich nicht so nicht bewegen. Alle drei weg. Ich würde gerne mal leben, dass ich zwei Level gleichzeitig mache. So, Framme scheidet dich aus. Und mit dem Rest gehe ich dann gleich nach links. War sogar ein Crit. Einfach als Vorbereitung, damit ich gleich rein kann. Genau, kommt zu mir hin. Der Kind kommt perfekt. Ich habe eine Wille Glanz übrigens mit meinem eigenen Blame äh, graviert. Komm zu mir hin und stirr. Mit einem Overkill. Der hatte noch ein HP. Fortschritt. Ja, den hätte ich früher gebrauchen können. So, ich kann mich hier draufstellen und gleichzeitig die Truhe öffnen. 2000 G. Muss ich ja drauf stehen bleiben oder reicht es, dass ich einmal drauf stand? Oh, ich habe die Felder vereist. The doors open. We should use the other sigil as well. Oh, more of the floor is turned to ice. Tread carefully, divine one. Und die Runde nicht wirklich was machen. So bitte nicht treffen. Ich sagte nicht treffen. Wenigstens einer versteht es. So, Zölle, jetzt werfen wir mal einen Speer. Und dann kann ich hier direkt den nächsten ausschalten. So, mit Toren vorschwächen und danach mit Excalibur vernichten. Excalibur macht nur 52. Hab halt vorher geguckt. Ich finde es schön, dass hier keine Verstärkung kommt. 
Und nichts machen in die Runde. Aber ich kann hier den Knopf jetzt drücken. Und mehr Eis. The other door has opened up. I think we can finally head toward the emblem. You are incredible. I will have to give this my all. So, dann gönnen wir uns noch den Inhalt der Truhen hier. Einmal Rettung. Teleport wäre hier an der Stelle schöner. Als ob ich es angesprochen hätte. Gebe ich gleich Gregory und dann kann er äh, Rafael auch hier rüber transferieren. Ich hatte keinen äh, Teleport-Start mehr in meinem Inventar, sonst hätte ich den genommen. So, gehen wir da rüber und sammeln, was auch immer das ist, ein. Eine Silberkarte. Oh, Rabatt. So, ich bin bereit. Ah, stimmt ja, Tiki konnte ja jemanden extra Leben schenken. Das hatte ich so stark ausgeblendet. Oh, da kommt Verstärkung. So Leute, ich hatte ja gerade, ich, ich habe gerade eben zurückgespult und statt äh, Raval jetzt Frabi hier rüber geschickt. Äh, ich äh, gönne mit ihr die Silberkarte für den Fall, dass äh, äh, Rafael und so weiter mit Tiki ein Gespräch haben können. So, den Weifern schalte ich mal aus. Und dann kann ich es ja jetzt allein durch Metal Line schon sehen. Ach, kann ich nicht. Ich mag diesen Frostatem nicht. Oh, sie greift mich an. Okay, wir werden es nicht rausfinden. I didn't always, but now? Yes, I think I do. It taught me what I'm truly capable of. I see. I'm very curious to learn all about you. Will you tell me more about yourself? Of course. I will tell you all that I can. No more. Dream. Ein Leben ist schon mal weg. Ich versuch's mal ein bisschen hinauszuzögern. So, ich habe mal Nell hier ein bisschen nach drüben bekommen. Vielleicht hat sie ja ein Gespräch. Madeline hat getroffen. Es also ist so oder so, ich werde es jetzt rausfinden, indem ich den Bündnisschlag mache. Dann ist es mit ihr auch gewesen. Ne, wenn auch Nell kein Gespräch hatte, dann wird wahrscheinlich keiner von den Charakteren, außer ich selber mit denen Gespräch haben. Es hätten auch fünf Runden weniger sein können. Ich hätte mir eigentlich auch das sparen können, Celestia einmal drumherum zu schicken. Weil ich konnte ja Framme einfach rüber teleportieren. Ich habe ja erst Rafael rüber geschickt, aber dann habe ich äh, Framme äh, äh, nach einmal zurück dahin geschickt. Wow, das war incredible. Ich habe mein very best, aber du hast immer noch gewonnen. Du hast mir deine wahre Essenz auch gezeigt. Selbst in Kampf. Du warst warm und kind. 
I would be ever so glad to help you. I quite look forward to working together. Thank you, Tiki. It's very reassuring to have you on our side. <laughs> I'm flattered to hear you say so. Oh, and it's not just me. My bracelet friends are here as well. I'm sure they would be happy to help. You mean there are even more bracelet emblems here in Elios? Yes. We just arrived recently. I'll tell you where they are, so you can go and meet them. I do believe they are all sleeping. I only hope they're having good dreams. I used to have terrible nightmares about turning into a beast and hurting people. That must have been awful. I'm so sorry. It was. But it's better now. I don't have those scary dreams anymore. And now that I'm with you, I think my dreams will only be happy ones. That's why I'm so grateful not to be alone. I want to become friends with all your friends. That won't be a problem. You're bound to get along well with everyone. <laughs> I cannot wait to meet them. Let's be on our way. Mama, I'm so delighted to see you again. It's a relief to see you as well. Now I can fulfill the promise I made to protect you. <laughs> I'm glad you remember. I never forgot. Now that we're reunited, I know I have nothing to fear. This will be so much fun. With you by my side, Tiki, I'm sure I can take on any battle. Together, we will protect Elios. I promise to give it my all. I can't wait to travel with you again. There is so much for us to talk about, and so many adventures to be had. Indeed. We have a lot to catch up on, and just as much to look forward to. Oh, Mama. I miss you so much. Okay, MDM Tiki verfügt über mächtige Drachenangriffe und kann verbündeten göttlichen Schutzgewehren. Die Synchrofähigkeit Sternenkugel verleiht Einheiten eine erhöhte Chance auf Statuszugen, der dazu wächst beim Level ab. Okay. Deswegen also gut in Kombination mit äh, der Fähigkeit, die höhere Erfahrungswerte macht. Die Bündniswaffe Atem verfügt Gegnern in einem bestimmten Bereich Schaden zu. Ihre Schadensatz ist abhängig vom Einheitentyp. Die Bündnisfähigkeit Drachengestalt verwandt die Einheit in einen Drachen und erhöht ihre Statuswerte immens. Der Bündnisangriff göttlicher Segen verleiht Verbündeten äh, Erweckungssteine, die ihnen neue Kräfte spenden, sobald ihre KP auf Null fallen. Okay, ich kann jetzt hier mit Emblem Tiki eben kurz reden. Bin gespannt, was Tiki so alles an Fähigkeiten hat. Warte, Bandeffekte, dann sehe ich es ja. Landkugel, die Fähigkeit habe ich ja oft gesehen äh, während des DCs. Diese Lebenskugel, die ersetzt das Heilmittel einfach. Ist ja richtig praktisch. Yo. Die Lebenskugel plus ersetzt sogar das Elixier. Ihre Fähigkeiten sind ja richtig gut als passive Fähigkeiten. Vor allen Dingen sogar nochmal eine wesentlich heftigere Version davon. Ich kann mir dann den Heiler schenken. Richtig praktisch. Na gut, ich sammle hier eben kurz noch das Zeug ein und dann sehen wir uns auf der Karte wieder. Habe ich hier mehr oder weniger keine feste Reihenfolge? Tatsache, ich habe hier keine Reihenfolge. Okay. Das wird auf jeden Fall spaßig. Die Frage ist nur, wer wo sein könnte, ne?
Wir kennen die Embleme zwar, aber das heißt nicht, dass ich weiß, wo die jetzt alle äh, auftauchen werden. Aber es ist schön, dass wir hier keine feste Vorgabe haben, wen wir zuerst machen. Ich hoffe nur, dass, äh, wenn da irgendwelche solche Spezial-Items nochmal liegen, wie die Silberkarte, dass die leichter erreichbar sind als äh, bei dem Level. Weil das lag ja wirklich ganz weit im hinterletzten Eck. Hätte ich keinen Teleport jetzt in der Kiste gefunden, hätte ich mit Celestia halt wirklich da drum gehen müssen. Ich hatte halt keinen mehr in meinem Inventar. Wäre eigentlich auch gut, den einen oder anderen tatsächlich dort immer zu haben. Dann hättet ihr jetzt nicht das Problem, was ich hatte. Naja, nichtsdestotrotz war doch ein interessanter Kampf. Ich sage ja, die Kämpfe selbst, die gehen, glaube ich, eher kurz. Ich müsste auch mal gucken. Äh... Ja, guck mal, hier ist nämlich zum Beispiel auch eine 25 Runden äh, Be äh, Grenzung. Hier ist auch Nummer 20. Also die scheinen alle so eine 20 Runden Begrenzung ha zu haben. Also können die nicht besonders lang gehen. Selbst wenn ich reinpfeife. Und wir haben ja mittlerweile eigentlich schon richtige OP-Charaktere. Ich glaube, wir sind ein bisschen... Äh, Strong in dem Punkt hier gerade. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet alle Spaß beim Zusehen. Wenn ja, Abo und ein Like da lassen. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Part wieder. Also morgen. Ciao und bis dann.